Hey, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the second installment of our trip to Santa Fe. In this video, we pack a lot in. We visit Meow Wolf and the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum. I'm also going to paint a lot in this video and I think I came up with some good sketches and some good pieces. Be sure to hang on until the end of the video because my favorite painting was painted downtown by the plaza and I have a nice little demo at the end of this video. All right, well, thanks so much for being here. Meow Wolf is up first, and this is going to be a lot of fun. Check out this parallel parking job down here. I don't know how to describe Meow Wolf, but the closest I can come is to say it is similar to being at a children's museum, but for adults mashed up with a contemporary art museum. The idea of Meow Wolf is that you are entering a house to look for clues about a family who has disappeared. The house seems to have somehow merged with another dimension as there were interesting visual treats in every drawer, cabinet, and other nook and cranny in the house. At one point we saw some people come out of a tunnel which was in the refrigerator and that was when things got really real. Honestly, we forgot about the clues and spent our time at Meow Wolf exploring and enjoying ourselves and not really worrying about trying to put together the pieces. There were indoor areas that simulated outdoor areas, tree houses to explore, art exhibits to take in, and all of it was lit well and we just enjoyed ourselves checking everything out. There was a tunnel in the washing machine and going into it brought me back to a dream of entering a tunnel that I had when I was eight years old. We really liked the experience and I'm gonna share some of the actual art pieces with the graphic design students that I'll be teaching next year. There was a series of rebranded or reworked cereal boxes that caught my eye the most and I think everyone will leave Meow Wolf with something to take away. Nothing in your life will be the same after you have visited Meow Wolf. And I think you should check it out if you're ever in Santa Fe. Well, we've been having a big day today and we're back where we're camping for the evening. There's a wildfire happening in the mountains behind me. And I'm already painted one painting of the wildfires and I'm just gonna keep it going and I am going to paint a series of paintings as the sun goes down. Each night in Santa Fe, we observed the wildfires in the mountains, which was near our campsite. On one evening, the sun was glowing pink as it was obscured by the smoke from the wildfires, and I decided to paint the effect because I don't get to observe that sort of thing very often. On this evening, I painted a series of four studies as the sun set behind the smoke. The first of the sketches was a late afternoon effect of light, and the final sketch was painted under twilight after the sun had already set. I'm planning to revisit these in the studio. I was working very rapidly, and I think that I could add another brush stroke or two to each of them before putting them in a show. It was a very worthwhile experience for me to have painted them. Not one of them tells the story on their own, but the series of them work together sort of like a slow time lapse to tell the story of the evening. We're here in downtown Santa Fe. The main plaza is right behind me and it's about eight o'clock in the morning. And this morning we're going to paint a view of the New Mexico Museum of Art. We left the dispersed camping area very early this morning so that I could come down here and get a view of the museum under morning light. Today we're headed to the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum, so I wanted to get a painting done early in the morning so that we'd have time to fit everything in. It's nice to be down here at the plaza before it gets super busy for the day. I've got really nice big shapes in the architecture behind me, and I think that it's definitely a classic Santa Fe scene. When I think of Santa Fe, this is kind of the shapes and the colors that I think about. So let's get started. The 
The next morning, we got an early start and headed downtown for some plein air painting before breakfast. This is the Museum of Contemporary Art in Santa Fe, and I thought the architecture would make a great subject for a painting. The Russian painter Sergei Bongart urged his students to build their paintings in terms of contrast, and the way the warm colored sunlit towers interacted with the deep blue sky gave a stark contrast to work from. These are some of my favorite kinds of subjects to paint. I took my time at the start of the painting and that was a good choice in this situation because everything went smoothly. It felt like a familiar subject. The way I was looking up at the towers reminded me of how I looked up at the granary and barn at my home farm a couple of months ago. And I even met two couples from Wisconsin as well while I was finishing up the painting. You're the first people from Wisconsin that we've seen out here. Oh my. At the restaurant for breakfast, there were, was a fellow from Trivers. No, Two Rivers. Two, two Rivers. Oh, two Rivers. But, but they, they call, call it Trivers. Trivers. Are you from Wisconsin? Yeah. Oh, yeah, us too. There you go. So is he. He oh. said, we're the first Wisconsin people that this Wisconsin person met. Oh, and here's some more. Oh, well, you got a whole bunch still. Yeah, so where are, where are you? I'm out of the Baraboo area. But we saw the building, we saw somebody doing something from over there. Oh, he's painting. This Wisconsin guy with a Wisconsin sweatshirt and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he's done here. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, it's time to go visit with Georgia O'Keefe. Another Wisconsinite. Hey, Wisconsin. <laughs> well, it's good to see all of you. We're headed to visit with Georgia O'Keefe. See you back home. We're here nice and early and the gentleman on the phone said that there was a good chance to get tickets yep. if we came at nine and we're 10 minutes early. Can you believe I got a whole painting done and we're early to do something? We had to be in line for the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum by 9 a.m. that morning and so I cleaned up and we reparked near the museum. We figured we would be one of the first people in line, but there was actually 30 or 40 people in front of us by the time we got there. And we were there 20 minutes before they opened for sales. We got lucky and we were able to go in only a half hour after 9, so we hung out in the gift shop until then. The gift shop had two books on art. Composition by Arthur Wesley Dow and also a book on the Japanese concept of notan. Notan refers to the harmonious relationship of dark and light. And I'm going to make a whole video about why I think it's cool that those two books were the only two art books present in the O'Keeffe gift shop and how they relate to O'Keeffe's paintings and how I think that we can all use these books and the concepts contained in them to make better paintings. But that's in the future and for now I'll just say that I think it's really cool that those are the two books that they offer there. Design is everything in painting, and those books cover the fundamentals of design extensively. We read online that there was only 10 paintings there, but that was a lie. There was gallery after gallery of works from throughout her career. I was especially interested in her early works before she met Stieglitz because that was a time of her life that I studied in one of my art history classes in college. And there were several in the collection from that time frame. O'Keefe was born in Wisconsin, about an hour from our farm out here in Rock Springs. And the early works represented featured elements of the Midwestern landscape. And there was also several non-objective or abstract pieces from that time frame as well.
I think it's very cool to see the objects that surrounded the artists and the things that they collected during their lives. I've seen Van Gogh's palette in Amsterdam and in Santa Fe. I got to see O'Keeffe's rocks and rattlesnake skeleton. If you're in Santa Fe, definitely plan to go to the O'Keeffe Museum. And my only tip is to find out about tickets in advance. Just give the museum a call and they'll let you know how you can get tickets. That's her actual viewfinder. The best way that I know to reset myself is by going skateboarding. I feel fortunate that there are skate parks in every town in the year 2022 because during my formative years as a skater there were none. I would have to drive two or three hours just to go and skate a quarter pipe. We grew up skateboarding on the streets. Santa Fe had a great skate park which is near the downtown. The ramps seem like an abstracted version of the mountains that surrounded us in shape, scale, and coloration. And I found that very thoughtful. This skate park also featured some street-like obstacles, such as the rough curb that I grinded up and down. And those were imperfect, but they added variety to the experience. I kind of like those sort of features at a skate park just because it, I don't know, it just feels more natural to me. Overall, this was one of the favorite skate parks I've ever been to. My best paintings are created when I approach the canvas with the same energy as I feel when I skate. So I skate as often as I can. Skateboarding keeps me feeling alive and it keeps me healthy and it keeps me able to return to the easel. Check out the effect that's happening right behind me. The smoke has been blowing through Santa Fe all day and I've had my easel set up and I'm going to paint this uh, glowing orb of sun that's hovering over the smoky landscape. That evening, we pulled over at a dog park and I painted another view of the wildfires. While traveling and painting, it's best not to plan anything out. There are just too many variables to consider. And in this case, it worked in my favor because I never would have pre-planned to paint several paintings of wildfires. My evening of painting went very well. I painted the illuminated orb of the sun by putting down cadmium yellow first and then running a streak of chromatic hot pink paint on top of that. The sun glows against the neutral smoke that is placed right beside it. And in that smoke, there's also several color changes as well. There's a vibration of chromatic versus neutral color in this painting, and it's an overload to the eyes, and that makes it fun to look at. This is our last morning here in Santa Fe, and after the winds and the smoke from the wildfires last night, it's nice to just have a calm and sunny morning, and I'm gonna take advantage of it and paint this view looking down the street. Uh, we're near the Central Plaza in downtown Santa Fe, and I'm looking forward to our last morning of painting. And the next morning, we went down to the plaza around 7 a.m found a place to paint under the rapidly changing morning light. The downtown buildings and cottonwood trees were illuminated under the morning light with a huge atmospheric mountain in the background.
I worked quickly because the long shadows from the trees shortened every minute and there was a lot of information to add into the painting. I worked business-like, painting only as fast as I could without making glaring errors, and we were gone within the hour. Our last stop was the farmer's market. I got a turquoise ring for Corbin and turquoise earrings for my mom. After that, we hit the road and we said goodbye to Santa Fe. Not all of the moments during a big trip are fun, but reflecting back on our time in Santa Fe, it was definitely a special time. During our trip, I got back to the easel after a month of not painting much, and it felt great to be painting again by the end of the trip. Traveling forces you into the moment because every experience is new, and painting new feeling things is invigorating. Well, that's it. That's going to be a wrap on this morning's painting. And this is my final painting that I'm going to be doing in Santa Fe. And that morning light definitely changed very quickly during the painting process. But because I pre-mixed my piles and because I did a little bit of preliminary work, including mixing the paint piles up first while thinking about their relative values, I was basically able to freeze frame the effect. And this is what I ended up with. Um, I kind of like this little sprinter that was parked over there with the little reflections coming off of it. Of course we have the buildings downtown and the lemon buds on the trees that signify the springtime. We had a pink effect in the sky and long shadows being thrown over the streets this morning. If you're coming to Santa Fe, I'd say definitely get downtown to paint near the plaza before 8 in the morning and you'll have a good time. All right, we're gonna head over to the farmer's market and from there we're gonna head down the road. But thanks so much for being with me for this morning's session near the plaza in downtown Santa Fe. Anyway, once all the paintings are done and some have been framed and sold and some of them are filed into my archives, the thing that remains is the feeling. I'm grateful to be on this painting journey and I'm grateful for those who are on it with me. And that includes you. So thanks so much for checking out this video. And we are going to conclude our big western Santa Fe road trip in next week's video. Until then, happy painting, and I hope all is well. Pretty hard to keep the equipment clean, huh? Have myself clean.